now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about how much serving she was doing. And she came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister got me working alone? I'm paraphrasing. She said, Lord, you don't care that my sister is sitting here alone and I'm doing all the work by myself? And she said, well, well, tell her that she needs to get up and help me. And then verse 41, it says, And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. He said, you are worried and upset about many things. But one thing is necessary. And Mary has made the right choice, which will not be taken away from her. Ain't that crazy? He said, Martha, you are worried about so many things, yet we got your sister who is sitting here and listening to me has made the right choice and you want me to tell her to get up? He said, I'm not going for that. She made the right choice. Martha, you got her in the kitchen, putting the bread together, getting the cornbread, getting the, the green beans and all of that, the Kool-Aid, the juice, the Minute Maid. She's out there trying to get everything together to serve him. She's stressed out. Y'all got to get all this ready and her sister just sitting down listening to the Lord. And Jesus, you are worried and upset about so many things. And when I read that, I stopped in my tracks because I had been worried and I had been upset about so many things. The week before I had, I was in my car praying and worshiping and crying out to the Lord. I need some help. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need you, right? And he spoke to me throughout this word. And, and after I read that in the middle of recording, I said, you know what? I'm not doing nothing for the rest of the week. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen. I bought a book. Randomly, it just popped up on my Instagram feed about a book. It's called Grace Over Grind. And it is amazing. And I'm going to read you an excerpt out of that, too, because it just gives you understanding about how to operate in the grace of God, that you're not exhausted, that you're not burnt out and trying to just figure things out on your own. He didn't, he didn't build us that way. It teaches you how to, for one, the, the book is about business, but it also teaches you how to do life in God's grace. I'm going to read it to you. But that's how I came to my four day rest. In, that, in those four days, I literally did nothing concerning work. I um, did everything that I had been saying that I wanted to do this summer, like go to the pool, like go to the park with my nephews, like watch a movie or just chill. Everything that I said I wanted to do, I was able to do. And then while I was doing those things and of course spending time in the word in worship, I, the Lord, well, the Lord revealed some things about me to me. I was able to actually get to understand myself a little bit better. I was able to actually get to understand myself a little bit better and why things are the way they were and just whatever, a lot of stuff. And so in the stillness with me not being so focused on content and emails and posting reels and designing and childcare, all this mess, family, not being worried about all of that, I was able to truly just tune in to what the Lord is showing me through my environment, showing me through my behavior. And it was just a good, it was just a good and it was revelatory. I encourage you to do that. Take that rest if you have not. If you feel burnt out, stressed all the time, overwhelmed, if you're triggered by the smallest thing, I need you to take a rest because you have to get ready for 2024 and you got to do it now. And as you're preparing, you need to be able to do that with a clear and sound mind. You can't be walking around stressed and worried about so many things. The Bible tells us worrying doesn't add another moment to our life. It does nothing for us. If anything, it takes away from us. Stress sends people to the hospital. Stress sends people to the grave. Stress sends people on medication, right? So we don't need to worry and want for nothing but to be closer with God, but to increase our trust in Him, increase our faith in Him. 